So I'm just saying it's going to take a little bit to get everything started. So Chris, when you're looking in the back here, um, ladies and gentlemen, we have a binomial times a binomial. And yes, they just happen to have radicals with them. All right. So real quick, a review. If I said x plus 3 times x minus 5, if you guys remember when we were doing problems like this, I said don't worry about trying to do the FOIL or anything else. The best and easiest way that I like to keep things organized is to create a box, right? You guys remember that? So you guys can use whatever method you want to, but I'm going to tell you it will make your life very, very simple and easy if you can just apply the box to keep everything organized. It's a very easy way to organize everything and keep everything together. So again, you can do 4 plus 2 square root of 5. And then we have 3 square root of 3 plus 4 square root of 5. All right, so I'm going to go through this a little bit quicker. If you guys want me to write one out, I'll be more than happy to do it. All right, so 4 times 3 square root of 3 is just going to be 12 square root of 3. 3 square root of 3, yeah, it is. If I do 2 square root of 5 times 3 square root of 3, 2 times 3 is 6. Square root of 5 times square root of 3 is? There you go. Then I do 4 times 4 times square root of 5, which will be 16 square root of 5. Okay. And then I have 2 square root of 5 times 4 square root of 5, which is going to be? Or 16 square root of 25. Oh, I'm sorry. I was looking at the wrong one. Sorry. Sorry. I was looking up there. So it'd be eight. Okay. Now, now, if you guys remember, remember we always had those ones that had the same denominators. Do any of these have, or the same variable factors? Do they have, any of these have the same factors? No. So guess what? We can't combine them. The only thing we can do is simplify square root of twenty-five, which you know is what five, and then five times eight is four. Right. So that's really the only thing we can add to this. So now we just write out the problem. 12 square root of 3 plus 6 square root of 15 plus 16 square root of 5 plus 40. No, you don't need to leave them anymore. Because now you're just adding them all. But you can't add them, though. You can't add them because they don't all have the same square roots. OK? So that would be it. It's final answer. So what I'll do is, um, guys, you have pretty much 20 minutes.